Jellies are found in every ocean, all over the world. They're considered the oldest multi-organ animals and also the longest. They can have tentacles up to 150 feet. To learn why jellies are so unique, why not make one? These models use some of the very materials that threaten their habitat. Plastic bags and fast food containers. They have no digestive, central nervous, respiratory, or circulatory systems. So what is there to a jelly? The main part of the adult's body is called many things. The bowl, the bell, the hood, the medusa, dome, and more. To make the body, paint a plastic dome lid saved from takeout food or drinks. Sargent's acrylic glitter glaze sticks well to plastic. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Blick Liquid watercolor. Hanging from beneath the jelly's body are long arms that draw in food. To make them, I've cut a large plastic bag and I'm going to use the same mixture that I made up for the dome to paint it. Then I'll set it aside to dry. Surrounding the arms and hanging from the edge of the bell are stinging tentacles that the jelly uses to inject venom into potential food. I have some sparkling plastic lacing cut into pieces for tentacles. To attach them, I first punch holes all the way around the edge of a dome lid with a hole punch and then thread the lacing through it like so. I'll need to tape them to keep them in place for now. When the painted plastic is dry, I like to tear the arms in order to get a more natural look. To do this, start at one end and make a small snip with scissors. Then slowly tear upward. Leave a couple of inches at the top. Here's what you'll end up with. Take the dome, apply glue generously to the inside, then bunch the top of the arms and press them down into the glue. The last component of the jelly is the mouth which is really just a thin, transparent membrane. This iridescent film works great if I cut some strips into it. Apply more glue directly on top of the arms inside the dome and press the film mouth into it. I don't need to wait for the first layer to dry. It doesn't have to be neat and tidy, and if portions don't stay glued, it will actually add to the natural effect. Allow it to dry overnight, then hang it on a piece of fishing line. For complete teaching instructions, standards, and materials, visit dickblick.com.